Hey, what's up everyone out there? Welcome back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it again with a new series for the channel. We are looking at Room Raiders. So today we're gonna to be invading Iowa Retro Gamer Dad's channel and watching his and taking part in his game room tour. You know, I'll briefly touch on this, but game rooms to me are more than just a collection of stuff. They are an extension of who you are and I like to take that into consideration whenever I'm watching room tours because all of these things, all these articles of items and games and, and consoles, they are a part of your history and where you've come and your journey thus far and how much you've learned and how much you've collected and the memories that tie us to those items. So I thought this would be an awesome uh, contribution to my channel and I watch out to this content creator to get permission of course and uh, without further ado let's go ahead and jump in and raid Iowa Retro Gamer Dad's channel slash uh, game room tour this one was his 2020 uh, 2022 game room tour if you guys aren't aware or uh, you're versed in Iowa Retro Gamer Dad as a content creator, then you might recognize him by his charitable events. He does, you know, spicy challenges or food challenges for charitable auctions. Um, he has his own nonprofit called Snack Packs, where he uh, packs up, you know, toothbrushes, um, things that kids need. I will kind of touch on that as well. As a kid that grew up taking and receiving donations from time to time because we weren't well off from you know boys and girls club and different things like that a lot of the time whenever a school a new school year began i wouldn't have supplies or new clothes or backpacks you know ready to get myself prepared for school so thank you and i am a product of uh, those type of organizations I, I can contest to it and definitely relate so hats off to you. keep on doing what you're doing uh, link down below if you want to donate or assist in any way for snack packs with that said let's go ahead and dive right into this game room tour um, I know this game room has uh, changed a lot over the years uh, as you know and most collectors know it's ever changing ever evolving and uh, we're never done you know we, we're always moving stuff around we get new hobbies different niches different consoles that we get you know spurts of passion for um, but let's go ahead and jump into this if you before we uh, hit play here if you're not currently a subscriber consider subscribing I really appreciate it if you like the video smash that like button so hard it turns blue help boost me up the YouTube algorithm and if you haven't done so already as well head on over to our retro gamer dad let uh, let him know who sent you and show him some love over there like comment subscribe check him out he's got all kinds of retro goodness on his channel as well as like i said the live stream let's plays the spicy and food ch related challenges charitable stuff he's given away quite a bit of stuff i wouldn't be surprised if we see some giveaway items on this video so let's go ahead and jump right into this and see what's up what is going on YouTube it is time once again for the tool game room tour uh, every year we try to do this so last year was in September this year we're a little late and went into October but either way we are getting it done and as usual we are gonna start at the door I'm gonna make this kind of a quick one uh, we don't need to spend too much time looking at so much stuff if you have any questions please just comment below and we will go over it and I can go into more detail about stuff. So just starting off the door into the game room. My, my game room is located in the basement of my house. And here is the door coming in. So we have a nice little Mario themed decals coming up here. And then off to the right to the door is my Star Wars wall. So I have, you know, obviously the Force Awakens poster, a few little canvases there. Uh, Millennium Falcon and just some sweet artwork down here. Uh, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Even my youngest son is actually named Anakin, and I can't believe my wife let me get away with that, but we did it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and pause right there. That was an incredible feat right there. I know how difficult that must have been, but the name itself is just an iconic and really cool name. 
let alone you know its ties but he said it there himself it's based off of the star wars franchise so man hats off to you for getting that i don't know what you had to do to get that to happen but maybe she's a star wars fan herself but coming off to the left of the door when you come in just here quick on the bottom dehumidifier if you got a game room in the basement or more stair make sure you get one of these because it will Otherwise, if you have boxes and stuff like that, humidity will start to ruin them. But coming off right that here is, true. is just some various... So you'll notice that in some of these areas that I just have some random stuff later on to kind of fill some void. I don't have as many... And that is one thing I'll mention. I, whenever me and my wife purchased this house, I really wanted a complete basement. That was one of my boxes that was left unchecked. And unfortunately, uh, we did not settle on a complete basement. Uh, I have three game rooms but um it would have been nice to have a full basement so super jealous on that bath for sure and i wasn't sure i didn't know that you have to have a dehumidifier and maybe it gets moist down there a lot of moisture in there i'm not sure but nice to know for sure games a lot of other people do and over time i've actually gotten rid of a lot of stuff but we just have some yep. stuff randomly placed about so original playstation box a Super Nintendo box with something my son's baby. Uh, a Wing Commander Blu-ray, because why not? Along with a nice little enclosed PS3 controller. Now this top roll right here is my PlayStation collection. Yes, it's not very big, but all the games that I have is what I like to play. So we just have some various PS1 titles. Moving on over. It's kind of pause here and see if we can point out some of these games um we got metal gear solid triple pack uh looks like devil may cry triple pack uh a couple crash games here point of reference let's see what else we got here dbz it's a good let's see indiana jones yeah he's pretty pretty decent uh, PlayStation collection here. If you guys want to take a second to look more at some of these, go ahead and pause them. Coming down to the end here is the PS. This is where I'm interested to see if we can get a better pause part right here. So let's see. So this is something that we have in common for sure. Uh, we recently got into the PlayStation scene, specifically the PlayStation VR. So I see a lot of PlayStation VR goodness. Uh, Batman Arkham, that's a good. Uh, Doom VR, that's a good. A lot of these. Firewall is an awesome multiplayer. I just wish more people were playing it. Um, it seems to take a long time to get into the lobbies. Rick and Morty, a couple PSVR demos. Iron Man VR, that's a really good one. Um, let's see, Skyrim VR, must own, best way in my personal opinion to experience uh, Skyrim, so unique, and then uh, further on down we got Uncharted Collection, just started that actually yesterday, so we'll, we'll uh, see how that goes, looks like we got part, uh, I think it's part 4, uh, Thieves End, God of War, another good... Yeah, so pretty solid PS4 collection here, included the PSVR section. With the PSVR games and my small but amazing PS5 game collection. Elden Ring, Ratchet and Clank, Guardians, and Aliens, got, pretty good. I love Ratchet and Clank, I just put, couldn't put it down. Right back down here, so we just showed you this. But we also have a nice little Xbox 360. Controller holder slash game holder. I really don't put games or anything into it, but it's nice just to have. And then this whole row right here is my dedicated to my original Xbox collection, which as some of you know from recent videos, has been my focus lately. Definitely the most um, volume so far is that original Xbox collection. So good on you for sticking to your OG Xbox goodness. Uh, not a lot of people uh, bring this up. The original Xbox is such an awesome console and it has a vast library. Not only that, it's the most powerful way to, uh, you know, enjoy a lot of these. 
Uh, one, one of the games that stand out is Castlevania for sure. Um, that game there is one that is on my list um, that I just haven't been able to come across myself. So if I come across it in the wild, then I'm definitely gonna be picking it up. I'm kicking myself for not picking it up sooner whenever it was readily available all the time. You know, you think original Xbox, you think, you know, Castlevania, it's a no brainer, but I, I'm cheap. You know, I wanted to wait for a good deal on it. So that's definitely one that's on my list. It's been evading me. More and more games and just building a, a larger collection of that. And on the end, we have a completing box. Sega Genesis with a nice little box of four. Uh, yeah, with Super Nintendo on top. Now here in the middle table, this is usually my packing area where if I sell any games or ship off anything, I usually do all my stuff right here. And then we have a nice little sweet box of hot sauces here because everybody knows how much I love hot sauce. I have not actually dug into these in yet, but I have a large collection from last season of hot ones. If you guys watched that show, you know what I'm talking about. Underneath, so you'll see a lot. So games. definitely a Hot Ones fan over here. Um, I was trying to catch it in time. Well, let's go ahead and see, take a deeper dive into what we got here. Better. So I can see a few of them that stand out that I've tried. Uh, Los Calientes, uh, De Bomb. A few of these came in the pack that you can get at your local retail or grocery store. That comes in the box of... Uh, boneless chicken wings that you can actually toss in sauce or dip in these sauces and um, That's how I, t I actually tried them. The bomb was actually pretty good man It will set you afar, but it it had a pretty good flavor to it actually Los Calientes was a little bit sweeter um, than my taste buds uh, Appreciate but pretty good flavors. I'd be interested to try a lot of these other flavors. I like the show good stuff but I have a large collection from last season of Hot Ones. If you guys watched that show, you know what I'm talking about. It's good about. stuff. Underneath, so you'll see a lot of various things in this game room that is not actually game related. Um, this goes with my charity that I run on the side called Snack Packs where I make... Uh, yes. So like down here we got some blankets and backpacks and stuff like that. And then, yep, a headset and dual uh, sense controller charger. On the left here is uh, all my maintenance stuff, uh, my cleaning supplies, my tools, various different things for retro games. This is a must, in my opinion, this right here. This is going to be something that every game room, uh, after a certain amount of time, will acquire. This is going to be uh, something wherever your a console goes uh, awry or you want to project something. Uh, you're definitely gonna have to have a place to actually store these if you don't have a designated spot for all your tools It's nice to have them readily available whenever you need them that way You don't have to go too far from your your game room to actually, you know Clean some gunk off of a game case before you put it on your shelf Take a console apart clean it just for general maintenance, you know make some necessary repairs to some retro consoles Definitely a must and something that will definitely acquire itself if you don't designate a proper area uh, for it to begin with. So that is something that's going to maximize your effectiveness and within your game room. So good on you for that one. That's pretty cool. Everything. And of course, you got to have weights down in your game room, I guess. Here's yeah, he's got some station. got some weights. So, pretty cool. Uh, my nice little gaming chair that I have that's now very squeaky. Over <laughs> here we just have, uh, let's see, yeah, we got a, I think a 50 inch 4K TV for my PS5 down there. We have a Wii U along with an Xbox 360. Why those two are down there is just kind of a random placement. There's no specific reason. Um, as you can see, I've recently been trying to play through Dark Souls. Now this big sheet covers up a landing. The reason I have this up here is behind it is a mess. Uh, this has, oh, there's a poster right there. But, now this has a lot to do with my uh, charity stuff too. Well, that's one way to do it. You know, you uh, you have a kind of a, a bit of an eyesore in your game room and you just put a put a sheet over it, man, I dig it. But it looks like, you know, you got some totes, you got some organization going. And it's not just a game room, it's a space for your charity, it's a space for all of your your your, your programs and things of that nature. So 
this is a necessary evil for sure. It's just one of those things where you have to have this uh, stuff down in there in your space. So I dig it, man. We have like tons of stuffed animals and blankets and stuff like that for the thing. And then this has just been a mess over here. This is all my shipping supplies, a broken Super Nintendo that I need to work on and just some extra bubble mailer and everything. So that's why that sheets up to kind of cover up that mess. And then coming off to the side over here, we have another little fun area. So this is where I have my some of my stuff that I like to display. Uh, we have a picture with one of my boys from when he was a kid. Uh, my ball, my vault boy holder, my Titanic scene of dual Mario's, and just a rent. Okay, hold up. Roll it back. Picture with one of my we got. When he was a kid. Uh, my what ball, is my that boy even? Holder. Okay, check this out. I don't even know where he would have gotten that first statue or even the second one. I know I know that's not put together, so it's very curious what I'm looking at exactly right here. Because this statue right here looks pretty awesome by itself. Maybe he holds a controller or a console or something that gesture is kind of similar to something but he's on a much bigger scale so maybe he holds the switch if so i missed out on that one because that statue looks pretty big because i have you know these general controller holders but he is like double the size that's incredible and then uh we have this one which looks like he's doing the jumping motion from in the game but incredible use of the statues for sure it's hilarious that's awesome my titanic scene of dual marios and just a random battle toes display with my playstation vr and now in here we have an amazing look at this bad boy it is incredible it looks like it is factory straight out of the box like this I love how there's protrusions on the actual decal itself. So you, his ears stick out, looks like his tail sticks out. Makes it, gives it that 3D effect with like a gloss finish on those. Incredible. And the controller is beautifully done. And uh, he'll go into more detail here, I'm sure. But this is one of the cooler things in his collection I'm super jealous of. Uh, custom. Nintendo that Russ Lyman made, if you guys don't know him, go ahead and search him up on YouTube and make some sweet stuff. But it is functional. Um, I put it back together and it is good with the new 72 pin. Now the Sega Genesis down here, the Sonic theme that I made myself. Um, it's just That's what I'm talking about right there. Other creators, you know, influencing and um, coming up with cool stuff that you get kind of passionate about. So he did a really good job on making his own rendition of a Sonic variant for the Sega. And it is very well done. It's got the Sonic blue. Sega's popping out. We got some decals here with uh, the iconic uh, Sonic poses there. But um, really well done. This is pretty incredible. And one of kind piece that'll be in your collection blue color with the stickers and once again functional and then just a random ps3 down there that i just kind of ran out of area so i put it there yep and then the wall back there i feel you man with, uh yeah video game po that halo poster right there it looks pretty cool I, I haven't come across that one but i love that art style so we got you know super mario 3 just control freak with us cool. yeah that looks really good also the side that nasty little thing up there was an issue I had one time where I drilled in the wall and I hit an electrical thing and it was a big mess. So oh no. Like that. In the middle here, besides obviously the couch where I, I hang out and play games and I sleep on them on night shift. But we have this amazing custom coffee table that my wife got me off of Etsy along with this um, sweet retro gamer. That retro like this right here is gold that is awesome to have it's just a, a, a great piece a good showman piece it's got the neon yellows the neon reds and pinks i like it that i really dig it that i could definitely implement into my own um, game room it's just a really cool piece to have uh, 
So yeah, and then you'll you know some various spots too. My wife got me some really sweet uh, coasters that are game related. Just those are incredible. Out. I love that. Uh, okay, so see, sorry, I keep going. Uh, but coming out to the side over here. Now this is gonna be. Uh, this is this is one of the messy areas too. So as you can see, this is just all like toothbrushes, soaps, and everything. Now these go all go into my bag. He says it's a mess, but for what he has going on, that's actually pretty uh pretty organized you can see there's stacks of stuff that are consistent within the totes but uh like he said this is for his charitable events where he uh puts these packs together so toothbrushes you know general uh things that kids that are in need may need um so at least he has some some organization going on here because that can go rear like you know cause a lot of chaos within a space really quickly if you don't have some type of organization going for my charity and then we have a little news article right here with me that a local paper did when i did a, some food so let's take a look at this um grossed out for a good cause that is an incredible headline for sure got my boy over there zach uh man i'm just i'm just so incredibly proud of what you do and happy that you're um a member within our community of the gamers and uh man it's just incredible that's definitely a piece that's uh you know deserves its spot up on the uh game room shelf if it was me i would probably even go as far as to blow that up and put it up on the wall uh, with a bigger frame it's just that cool to me that's incredible man congratulations on that challenges to get uh supplies for kids for christmas last year and that's the same thing too so besides i'm a, here's just an autograph from scott frost and tom osborne which is a nebraska football team that i really into um and here is yeah just some random stuff this playstation br box is complete and stuff like that and i have it sitting off the here but down here is one of my favorite parts is obviously all Ooh. So we have a genesis model 3. man we got let's go ahead and pause and see what we got going on here got the wave bird going on gamecube with a receiver we got top loader super nintendo i'm not sure what's under this but i'm i'm assuming it's um original entertainment system and that's just a dust cover uh that's what i'm assuming anyway and n64 was one of the arguably most iconic games for the console up there um of course we got dreamcast man that's really cool and you got the led backlighting looks pretty incredible man an nes a top loader a super nes gamecube dreamcast a Super Famicom, an a Nintendo 64, a Model 1 a Sega Genesis, a Dreamcast with a PS2 underneath, and then we have a Genesis Model 2. Now the reason I have covers on two of these is because they're actually the ones from when I was a kid. So I've been taking really good That's care of cool. them. That's cool. Yeah, I want them last. Uh, and then in this thing, was, I still have some stuff left over from a while back when I hit a garage sale. Up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at all of this retro goodness. It looks like we got our original PlayStation with controller. Another one here, Nintendo 64 controller. Uh, looks like an N64 game back there. Just a drawer full of gold, man. Stuff is functional except for this PlayStation. I need to take apart and look at the laser because it does not want to read games. And then up here is another Super Nintendo that I've been having on the back burner is about maybe selling here pretty soon because I don't need two of them. And then just various controllers and cords for it. So this has just kind of been a pish posh, a bunch of extra crap over here. Down here is just one of the very many milk crates that I have that just has various controllers, yep. cords, accessories, and stuff that go along with the game and stuff. Yep. So I just have that chilling and hanging down there. This is a trash can. Anyways. No. No, not anyways. <laughs> what was that? I gotta go back. He, he went out of his way. Accessories and stuff that go along with the game and stuff. <laughs> I just had that chill on and hanging down there. This is a trash can. 
<laughs> oh man, Zach, it freaking cracked me up. That's incredible. Anyways, moving on over to this other side. I mean, it's a part of your gaming room. You gotta have one, right? Down here is, you'll, you guys will notice that my collection of retro games has really kind of plenished over the last little while. I, I've been, I got a retro pie and I haven't been playing, collecting certain games as much. So I've really been backing off buying a lot of the old systems because I can just play them on my retro pie. So here's my small collection of NES games. Uh, I, I have some in here. But I also have some in some cases that I got from the uh, video game Dust Sleeve. Ooh. Like ad that, I frame, that I got, that uh, was gifted to me in frame. And my small GameCube collection back. This, I gotta pause and kind of look this over here because I'm the GameCube guy, so this gets my blood and juices flowing here. So we got some really good AAA titles here. We got. Mario Kart Double Dash, which featured it was the only Mario Kart that actually featured the dual cart where two characters play on one cart can interchange and work together throughout the race. Pretty cool stuff. We got the, the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition, Super Monkey Ball 2. I liked part one better. Resident Evil 4, all time favorite GameCube game uh, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, looks like Final Fantasy. Donkey Konga 2, uh, Super Smash Bros, Metro Prime, it's good. Uh, looks like we have a good uh, selection here as well. We got three of the Prince of Purchase, incredible franchise. Can't wait for the remastered version. I hope they do it justice. That's all I can say about that. And of course, must have Black, Black Case, um, Luigi's Mansion, awesome, awesome game. And then I think I saw some more that are off to the side here. Let's see what else we got. Nothing too extreme, but just, you know, the, the ones you have to have. Resident Evil 4, Metro Prime, yeah, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. Over there. Oh, man. Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. That is an incredible find that I've yet to be able to come across in the wild. So I was super jealous of that one, Zach, for sure. And stuff like that. Uh, Wind Waker. And same with my Wii U collection. It's not huge, but it just have a couple of few good ones I wanted to hold on to. Like Resident Super Evil. Wii U, Super Mario 3D World, Mario Kart 10, Resident Evil. Yeah, that's a good. And then down here is just uh, a cool. I, I was actually really into these lunchboxes, and I almost started collecting them more. But yeah. Okay, let's pause on this. I know this is retro, and it is what it is. But why in this image did they make? Shredder looks so busty. You know, like, is he like the my like the nipple Batman? Where they is that like a shimmer or is he just he's just looking really perky this morning? <laughs> oh man, I love it. Gotta love that red show team and see lunchbox. That's incredible. Here. He has some really cool decals, man. Yeah. Like that Paper yeah. Mario back there. I don't know if that's original or aftermarket or what. I got a, lot, a couple of those Funkos. We have a Zapper right here that I myself made with a 3D box. So that's really awesome. Uh, yeah, I've seen his videos on that. It's really incredible and an awesome way to repurpose items. And coming in the middle of here, we have a modded Game Boy that I won in a giveaway a while back, which was awesome. Various different retro uh, gaming sleeves. Each one has a different NES game in it. Sweet. So of, probably channels that you know there. Russ Lyman, NES Addict, Pac-Man Case Gaming. Do you nerd, Pac-Man Case, and NES Addict. Don't know any of these oh, 8-Bit Glitch 79, shout out nerd. to all of these channels, channels gaming off the grid. Good, good, and good stuff. NES, which is complete. I mean, foam and everything. What is going on there? Why does he look so derpy? I think that this is the um, Super Mario Bluetooth speaker, but he looks kind of derpy, don't you think? Maybe he got like a bad one. 
Or if they're all like that, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, his eyes look a little derpy in that. <laughs> Favorite YouTubers, uh, LA Beast gifted me that after I sent him a letter, which has been really awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see here, we got a box for that. You have this various little display stuff. Here's my small boxed NES collection. Got some good ones in there. Uh, That's cool, I'll man. I'll show you this because this is one of my favorite things. So the three. Whoa. Of the Ninja Turtles on NES box, but what is also awesome about it is it's actually their colors in the game, and not normally all of them is just red. Yeah. But this is actually the colors in the game and everything. So I showed my NES boxes down here. Here's my Sega Dreamcast Ooh. box. This one I'm jealous of for sure. Um, the uh, Xbox 360 to me is one of the more iconic uh, consoles for a lot of reasons for me, but more particularly this particular art style on this box for the arcade version, I have specific ties and memories to. This one, if memory serves me right, wasn't the most desired version of the console to purchase, but just the art style alone like the box art is incredibly done the i love like the ripples the art the art style wherever they went with the ripples um you see that on a lot of the earlier xbox 360 stuff so this one to have up on your shelf as a display piece is pretty awesome so if i get a chance if i ever come across this i will be picking that up it is really cool i have several 360 boxes but this is one that i do not have that I think is really cool to own. Along with the original receipt from I think it was 1999, an Xbox 360 arcade wow. box. And down here is just a small collection of 360 games. Like I said, nothing too crazy. Yep. Titles that everybody usually has. Um, yep. I just keep them down here. And right here is my official Battletoads defeated CRT from Battletoads. What? Keep that thing down here. It's got his official seal of approval on there for being beaten. What? And then, yeah, so we talked about, we just showed quick the Mortal Kombat one up thing. I also have the Pac Man anniversary one, which has all the Pac Man games on there and everything. That's pretty uh, cool. I do I like that. I like to play a lot. And then I was gifted last year for Christmas the official Pac Man arcade one up stool, so we have that too. There's my projector, which I sometimes hooks up my retro pie to and play retro games on. And then we have a six foot cutout of Mario in the corner. I wonder where you got the other thing. It's huge. Yeah, more display box over here. It's pretty PS5, freaking PS3, cool. The launch, wow. The launch Xbox and see, let's kind of pause here and see what we got going on. He, as well as I, really appreciate the original console box art. Uh, so having them up as a display piece for me just takes me instantly back to that moment where you either one had to wait and that's all you got to see was that box art on the shelf for a long period of time before you know you were able to actually get one for yourself or two you know you it instantly transports you back to the memory of whenever you purchased it took it home unboxed it you know and enjoyed it yourself but for me the boxes are an awesome way to display and just an incredible piece of memorabilia for sure so we got og launch xbox editions uh playstation 2 box playstation 3 box i need to i need to get a ps3 box ps5 pretty incredible box art for the ps5 um Genesis controller box it looks like um looks like um a classic console variant there looks like he has kind of the classics up here looks like he has a large percent of them if they're not actual consoles it's hard to tell from the distance until we get closer but uh looks like super nintendo entertainment system playstation looks like all the classic collections there they're going up in price actually later on along with the ps2 box my two mini consoles there along with the playstation one there and just some various games scattered throughout down here uh, a couple N64 It's a ones. pretty good lot right there. Uh, Legend of Zelda. My son touching because the Wind Waker and our Link's Awakening and stuff like that. Yep. And then over here, it's still, it's still a lot of empty shell space because I bought more shelves just to make sure I had room and I just haven't been picking up as many games. But we have a 
I'll link our Always good to have room to grow. Case, or Game Boy case along with a Game Boy original one just given to me. My small Sega Genesis collection, basically just games that I loved in my childhood that I got on and I just kind of held on to. Uh, we have some various game cases along with games those dark ho with dark game horse game magazines or books are amazing. Uh, um, then just random stands and stuff that I use for streaming along with a Back to the Future three poster over here that I need to typical get back to have. And then this freaking mountain of crap up here is just once again <laughs> various accessories. You can see like the Donkey Kong, yep. Kongos, uh, some Xbox controllers. And everything. This is just basically a bunch of my accessories all stuffed in the different categories or different milk crates for later on. Here's some drawings from my son that Anakin did. He did not, not do that one. That was gifted to me from. I was about to say, dang. You have these other ones, and then this is that's the awesome. Best. That my You're the best made. dad. And so I've just kind of been having that all down here. And then these right here is just different crates of. Uh, my snack packs, my uh. So this is what we were talking about a bit earlier on and, and throughout it. Is Jerry link down below if you wish to uh, continue, contribute, uh, donate, etc. Super good cause. Again, I'm a product of programs like that, and I know how much I appreciated it. So um, if you can, um, then that would be great. But yeah, looks like he's got this kind of set out for him. Uh, completed to uh, ones that he can add to so yeah good on you and again uh, a pro uh, a non-profit program like this you need space like in this inside his game room I think you've done an incredible job of organizing for what you have going on for sure and you've designated certain spots for key things like you separated your backpack sections from your completed to to your empties you have different totes with different things in them uh, so your organization has been optimized for what you got going on down there so so uh, I think you've done a bang-up job on uh, utilizing the space to the best of your ability with that uh, difficult task my charity, my nonprofit thing that I made. These are packs that are already made to send out to charities. So, and then right over here in the last area, we're gonna just show quick. This is the the PC, the editing, the streaming area. Right now, I have a original Xbox hooked up because we've been playing Jade Empire. Hey, that's Xbox a good. Super show. Down here, we have a sweet Fallout. Oh, he actually has a PC build. That's sick. And you can see some various YouTubers down there too as PC. So every time somebody sends me a different uh, sticker for the channel, I stick it on this case. And then yeah, it's just we have a basic dual monitor set up with one that's actually kind of 720p, while the other one is just your standard your standard LCD one with a speaker right here, um, an extra microphone and, and camera that I'm probably going to be giving away here pretty soon, along with a game that I am giving away here soon. This normal headset with a, a Yeti stand-up. Uh, Yetis are pretty good. And yeah, guys. So as you can see, it's just my little modest game room that I had. Like over the years, I've been slowly getting rid of more stuff and just kind of keeping stuff that I want down here instead of just collecting yep. a bunch of garbage. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the stuff that's in here or want to see... Go ahead and pause it right there, ladies and gentlemen. So that is... This episode of Room Raiders, super enjoyed being able to step into your little world. Again, by my eyes, game rooms aren't just a collection of random things. There are items that directly tie them to you and the memories that are connected between one, one another. So, you know, raiding somebody's game room or walking into somebody's space is like walking into a part of you. In a manner of speaking going in and seeing you know things that you're particularly passionate about and there is a large variety to view within your space for sure it shows your character from your nonprofit charitable events um, that you're you're giving heart you know I have a lot of things up in my game room that, that have been sent by you you know so it's just a testament to who you are and then things that you particularly enjoy huge there's a, a large array of Star Wars collections all throughout. 
uh, up on the walls, up on the shelves, from the games to the posters um, to what have you. And then it looks like your largest collection uh, per volume is uh, original OG Xbox for sure, which mean you collaborate for sure on the love of the OG Xbox. And it is the best way to experience most of those games because of the platform is very uh, superior to say, soft on a software um, view standpoint then you know the OG Xbox is superior and uh, is a lot more reliable than uh, some of the other consoles of its generation but that's the video ladies and gentlemen thank you all if you made it this far in the video make sure you head on over to Iowa Retro Gamer Dad show Zach some love tell him who sent you and uh, do the same over here if you haven't hit that subscribe button a lot more get game rooms to raid in the near future so stay tuned for that and i'll catch you all in the next episode till then later dudes peace <laughs>